Hello everyone, Broken Mike here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to this week's episode of BUW, and this is episode 173, part 2. Now if you guys did happen to miss part 1, then do make sure to head on over and give it a watch. Now, as you can see, we are going to be kicking off part two with a tag team match from the women's division. And it will be Queen B and Bubbly Zen representing the NWO. And they'll be taking on Melissa and Abigail Diamond. Merciful fate. Who's going to get the win here? Let's find out. Now, if you guys do enjoy what you see here today, then make sure to leave that like for Mike. Hit in the comments below. And do make sure to subscribe to the channel. Making their way down to the ring first, representing the NWO, Queen B and Bubbly Zen. And the NWO looking to knock off former tag team champions here tonight in the form of Merciful Fate. Both these teams will want to be in contention for the Tag Team Championships. And of course, speaking of which, we will see the women's Tag Team titles to be defended later on tonight, uh, this evening. So this one's a must win for both of these teams. And their opponents making their way down to the ring. Melissa and Abigail Diamond. Merciful Fate. Merciful Fate, former two-time women's tag team champions. And both these sisters have had individual success as well in BUW. And Abigail actually what sort of condition is she going to be in after participating in the Women's Chamber of Mayhem wasn't meant to be for Abigail as she looked to become the next challenger for the Women's Intercontinental title unfortunately for her that honour now falls to Siren Nix who will challenge Country Girl at Wrestleverse Merciful Fate now can focus all their energy on the tag team division. Maybe to once again challenge for the tag team titles. So it looks like it's going to be Queen B and Abigail Diamond to start things off. And here we go. 
Abigail Dumond with the Irish whip into the corner. Some jabs from Abigail gets caught by Queen Bee. On the ropes. Bouncing off the ropes. And a, a nice suplex from Queen Bee. Knife edge chop. Queen Bee looking good. Drives the knee into the back of the neck of Abigail Diamond. Now she's looking to pick apart the former Intercontinental Champion. Abigail able to counter. Batbreaker. Stomp on the elbow. A single leg camel clutch. Abigail looking for a submission win. Not going to happen at this time. Netbreaker. There's a tag to Bubbly Zen. Abigail Diamond crawling to her corner. She gets to Melissa. And the two fresh superstars in the match now enter the fray. Nice float over from Bubbly. Into a cutter. And then W.O. Uh, doing their trying been trying their damnedest to get into the title picture but it just hasn't worked out so far dragon suplex and this is a tough ask for bubbly zen and queen b nice counter from bubbly bubbly zen a bright talent very young still plenty of time in her career to achieve something big in BUW knee to the midsection oh and, Ab and Bubbly Zen's caught in the tarantula of course as we know made famous by Tajiri Snake eyes, down goes Melissa. Knee drop. There's a tag, in comes Queen B. There's a tag, in comes Abigail. And Queen B, who has been on the cusp on a few occasions to achieving something big, has often fell short. And at the moment, at the receiving end, um, the fates, no pun intended, of Abigail Diamond. Queen Bee with the counter. And what's Queen Bee going to do here? Backpack stunner. Into the cover. And a two count. And Queen Bee can't believe it. A right hand to a waist lock. Sit down, Matt Slam. Lock up. Head first goes Abigail. Able to counter Queen B. Bat breaker. And those rapid fire punches. Queen B on the defense. Trying to cover up, but it's to no avail. And tags in both corners. And again, we get Melissa Diamond and Bubbly Zen. Melissa with the amateur takedown. Lock up. Head first goes Bubbly. The block there from Bubbly. She's. Oh, nice shot to the arm of Melissa Diamond. And those kicks of hers are quite lethal. Look at that last one. 
I don't wonder how on earth she can do that. Oh, she gets caught though. Melissa Diamond soaking in the adulation into the cover. Just a one count. Bubbly kicks out. Lock up. The takedown. A double stomp. Queen B in off the tag. Some Queen B maybe looking to. Maybe she can capitalize on this opportunity. With Melissa Diamond grounded. Calls to her feet. Diving crossbody. You saw Abigail at the corner of your screen tried to interfere. But Abigail was just a bit too slow there. A tag back into Bubbly Zen. NWO the frequent tags. And a slap to Melissa. I don't know if that is a good idea. There's a couple of kicks. Oh, and again. I, I'll say it once. I said it. I'll say it again. How on earth does she do it? Bubbly Zen into the cover. Oh, nearly a huge win for the NWO. Tagging the Queen B. And then WO keeping the former two-time tag champs grounded. Keeping Melissa in the match. Keeping her away from her sister. Melissa able to counter. Kick to the gut. Sunset flip. And Abigail gets tagged in so the tides could turn once again in this match Abigail Diamond with a clubbing blow to the back Queen Bee gets called to her feet takes a risk and it pays off cover and bubbly with the with the save there Queen I do think was gonna kick out there goes bubbly gets caught there's a boot to Abigail Diamond and a near fall for Queen B nearly giving herself and Bubbly Zen a huge victory a slap the chop another slap Queen B is on it tonight oh she gets caught there by Abigail DDT cover Referee, make the pin. I think the referee took too long there. Melissa gets a cheap shot in. German suplex. Tag to Melissa. And Queen B laying motionless on the cat on the canvas. Takes a chance. Elbow drop to the back. Queen B had no idea that was about to happen. And there goes Queen. And Queen B lying motionless on the outside. Merciful fate. Have things in hand. Have things going in their favour. And there's a tag to Abigail just as Queen B re-entered the ring. Diamond effect. And that could do it. Oh, and another near fall. Merciful Fate nearly scored a, another victory. The Queen Bee had other ideas. But how long can she withstand this? The spine buster. Clubbing blows to the midsection. Float over. DDT. Elbow to the temple. There's a tag to Bubbly Zen. What is Bubbly Zen going to do here? She says she's headed to the top rope, but is she a bit too far? 
she might well have been side headlock into a bulldog maybe bubbly zen is thinking enough playing looking for the oh no reversal from abigail diamond bubbly zen was going for that detonation kick but Mille sorry abigail diamond was able to counter bubbly countering the submission hold We've never seen that. I've never seen anyone counter the the detonation kick. Oh, but try and get out of that. Abigail's possession. And Queen B with the save at the last moment. And there she goes again. And Abigail Diamond calling Bubblies into her feet. Oh, misses her, misses her opponent. Nice counter from Bubbly Zen. Landed on her feet. Kick to the back from that snap mirror. Now delivering a knee drop onto the arm. Follows it up with a rolling neck snap. And you can imagine what a win would do for the NWO's confidence. Head into Wrestleverse. And a shot to the head of Abigail. And you can show that, uh, can be sure that that's Bubbly's and Queen's teammate Alley Cat will be watching somewhere backstage. Cheering on her teammates. Hoping they can pull off this huge upset of a victory. There's a submission again. Bubbly's wrenching back. Can she do this? Oh, she released the hold. There's a tag. In comes Queen B. Maybe Queen B's going to pick up the pieces. She could be about to put Abigail Diamond to sleep if she hits this. There it is. GTS it's over it is over and what a win for the NWO absolutely incredible effort from the NWO the bubbly Zinn and Queen B out wrestling the former two-time champions. It wasn't a straightforward for the NWO. The merciful fate were dominant throughout. Here are, your winners. Here are your winners of the match. Representing the NWO. Bubbly Zen. And Queen B. What a win that is for these two young ladies and for the NWO as a whole. They could soon have their time, could the NWO, but as of right now, we're going to turn our attention to the men's division. Another tag team match coming your way. And this next one, it will be Davy Roche, Nash O'Kur, the Nexus Nation. And they'll be taking on the team of Landon and Prince Magnum representing the Magnum Foundation. And of course, I want to point out one little detail as well, folks that whoever wins this match will face the winners of next week's tag match and whoever wins that one will face the winners of the match you're about to see tonight in a couple of weeks time where the winners of the final you could say will earn 
a tag team title match at Wrestleverse. I've been looking forward to seeing two sets of former tag champions collide in just mere moments. Making their way down to the ring first. Davy Roche, Nash O'Kur, the Nexus Nation. Nexus Nation, former BUW Tag Team Champions. Looking to win this match tonight against the Magnum Foundation. In order to face the winners of next week's tag team match. Which will be determined obviously next week we'll find out who the next two teams will be on next week's show and in two weeks time we will have a number one contenders match to see who'll be the next challengers for Carnage Combat Club's tag team titles and, a weight of pounds. and their opponents making their way down to the ring representing the Magnum Foundation Landon and Prince Magnum and what an opportunity for the Magnum Foundation to get back to the top of the tag team mountain they've both had individual success looking to earn more tag team success looking for a second tag team championship down the line as is the Nexus Nation they'll be looking for their second tag titles as well and here we go we've got Nash, Okur and Landon starting this match off and a huge opportunity lies in wait for the winners nice DDT from Landon a kick to the midsection knee to the gut off the ropes knee drop standing moonsault and so far it's been one way traffic up until that point Nash able to get out the way kick to the midsection brain buster and then comes Davy Roche and Davy Roche of course who came close to becoming world champion back at the Ruthless Rumble over a month ago looking to turn his attention back to the tag team division and a kick to the back Nash tag back in frequent tags from the Nexus Nation keeping each other fresh I'd say the Nexus Nation are more quicker more agile the, even though Landon from the Magnum Foundation is a mixture of a high flyer and a grounded technical wrestler Prince Magnum and Landon more, more grounded type superstars David Roche tag back in and the way things are going we might not necessarily see Prince Magnum in this match oh wait a second chop block to the back of Davies knee there's a tag in comes Prince Magnum for the first time former intercontinental and hardcore champion a former Mr. Journey to Gold Prince Magnum has found it tough in the last 12 months not having too much success did have a brief run as the hardcore champion in the summer of last year 
happen right now. He's just biding his time, Davy Roche. No shots from Prince Magnum. Elbow drop to the knee. Tag to Landon. And the Magnum Foundation seems to have things in their in their hands. Landon a bit too overzealous. And there goes Roche. And Roche back up to a vertical base right in front of Prince Magnum. Who's on the ring apron. Looking for a snap suplex. Roche able to switch it around. German suplex. Dragon screw counter. Oh, what a super kick to Roche. Attack to Magnum. And there's a tag to Nash Okur. And Nash, who's had individual success last the last 12 months, has had a couple of couple of title reigns with the YouTube Championship before a lot losing it back at Christmas Massacre two months ago to Davy to David Labby. And of course, speaking of David Labby, we will see he'll be next to challenge for David Labby's YouTube Championship. Nash takes flight! And Nash O'Cor going to the top rope once again. Dog oh, diving head, but Prince Magnum gets out the way. Body blows to Nash O'Cor. There's a shin breaker. Oh, and Nash just gets launched like a lawn dart. Crashing to the floor. Absolutely insane. Insane move from Prince Magnum. Swinging net breaker. Nash trying to crawl, crawl to his corner while Prince Magnum is too busy showboating. And there goes Nash over the top rope again. And at this rate, there's going to be nothing left of Nash Okur. Suplex. Right, and a chop from Prince Magnum. Oh, look at that. Overhead kick. And Prince Magnum again, soaking in the adulation. Nash into the steel steps. Prince Magnum returning to the ring. Nash returns to the ring. High angle back suplex. And that could be a tie turner. In comes Roche. And there goes Prince Magnum. Maybe looking to do to Prince Magnum what Prince Magnum did to Nash Okura just a few moments ago. That power from Davey. Knee to the gut. Back inside. Prince Magnum crawls to his corner. In comes Landon. Oh, super kick to Prince. Schoolboy. And a super kick to Roche. Well, I would say it's not quite a super kick party. 
but still. Oh, spine on the point of Prince Magnum. Oh, Prince in trouble. Power bomb. Head first. Goes Prince and he's in enemy territory. He's in the Nexus Nation corner. Running Bulldog. Prince Magnum wasting invaluable time with Davy Roche. Oh, what a kick! Almost took Prince's head off. And there's a tag to Nash Okur. Oh, what a shot! From Nash Okur to Prince Magnum. Now, frequent tags from the Nexus Nation are running clothesline. Roche as a counter from Prince tag to Landon shot to the midsection chops galore snap suplex follows it up with a discus elbow drop David Roche looking good here tonight Northern Light suplex and Roche about yeah, there he is. There's Nash Okura in off the tag. And right hand to land and down he goes. Kick to the back of the knee. And Landon fights out of trouble. Head first goes Nash Okor, I think he's been busted open. Head first goes Landon. Flings Nat flings Landon off the ropes. Suplex. And Nash puts a stop to Landon who looked like he was going to make the tag to Prince Magnum. Rolls him over into the pin. And Prince Magnum with the save. Sido suplex to Prince. Oh! Diving splash into the cover. And a save from Roche. There he goes. Prince takes him out. Landon. Kick to the midsection. Kick to the knee. Off the ropes. And there's the last shot. Hooks the leg. Well, this is enough to advance. No! Nash, top rope as as Prince Magnum was busy dealing with Davy on the outside Falcon Arrow landed turning the tide of the match it could be a matter of time for the Magnum Foundation the last shot to the back of the head Nash trying to roll away but gets caught in the pin and Nash kicks out at two. This is incredible. High angle back suplex. Heading to the top rope. Splash from Nash. But he's not done yet. Prince Magnum still dealing with Davey on the outside. Driving headbutt connects this time into the cover. Will this be enough for the Nexus Nation? No! 
Nash can't believe that was two. That was so close. Nash Okor top rope. Sent on bomb. Hooks the leg. The Nexus Nation advance to the number one contenders match. What an incredible matchup from both sets of superstars. Magna Foundation and the Nexus Nation put on a show in tonight and what a matchup it was folks. It couldn't have it could have gone either way. There's that diving headbutt in that Wally Coyote cam. And there's the scent on. So nice we get to see it twice. Giving Nash and Davey the pin. And the win. And here are your winners of the match. And advancing to the number one contenders match. Davy Roche, Nash O'Kur, the Nexus Nation. And what a win that is for the former tag team champions. As for the Magnum Foundation, it's back to the drawing board. But congratulations to them. They will face the winners of next week's tag team match to see who'll be next to challenge for the, the undisputed tag team championships two weeks time we'll find out who will go to Wrestleverse to challenge the to challenge Carnage Combat Club but anyway folks we are going to end part two here so if you have enjoyed what you've seen so far then do make sure to leave that like for Mike hit any comments below and do make sure to subscribe to the channel now that said guys still got plenty more action for you still to come including a huge tag team championship match and of course coming up next we will see the BUW world champion the dark dominator Jack Styles in action as he looks to send Mr. Nuts a message before Wrestleverse what's going to happen there you'll have to tune in to find out so until then I will see you all after this next break